Hello others, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about difference between homozygous and heterozygous. Homozygous is actually a genetic makeup which consists of two identical alleles for a particular trait. Homo means same. So both the alleles they are going to be same. While heterozygous they have two different alleles for a particular trait. Hetero means different. So here we can see we have homozygous and both the alleles for a particular trait they are same. But in case of heterozygous we can see that both the alleles they are different. One is capital the other one is small. The genotype of homozygous will be AA capital A capital A or small a small a while the genotype for heterozygous will be capital A small a it means that one allele is going to be capital while the other allele is going to be small. Homozygous they will always produce single type of gametes because both the alleles they are same so all types of gametes they will have same type of alleles here we can see that this yellow one has capital y capital y it means both the alleles are same so the gametes will have only capital y similarly for the green seeds both the alleles are small y small y so all the gametes they will be same having small y while in case of heterozygous we will have two types of gametes because two different alleles are present capital y and small y so half gametes they will have capital y while the half gametes they will have small y similarly homozygous they are going to express two different phenotypes whenever capital Y capital Y present the seeds they are going to be yellow in color but when small y small y is present the seeds they are going to be green so we are having two different phenotypes based on the genotype if both alleles they are capital then we have yellow phenotype if both alleles they are small then we have green phenotype but in case of heterozygous only one phenotype is expressed here we can see that we have capital y and small y but the seeds they are going to be yellow in color self breeding of homozygous produce the same traits over the generations self breeding means that we are going to cross capital a capital a with capital A capital A having plant then all the gametes they will have a chromosome or a allele and when they are going to fuse with each other we will again have capital A capital A so the same traits is expressed throughout the generations while in case of heterozygous self breeding it is going to produce a combination of different traits here we can see we have heterozygote capital y and small y capital y and small y so when capital y is going to fuse with capital y we are having yellow seeds when capital y is going to fuse with the uh, small y we also have yellow seeds because the capital y is dominant and small y is recessive but when we are going to have small y fused with small y we are going to have a green seed so a combination of different traits can be observed homozygous they do not show extra effects but the heterozygous they show hybrid effects like we said that different combinations we can observe the homozygous they are present in true breeds true breeds mean that both the alleles they are same but heterozygous they are present in the cross breeds or f1 generation when the true breeds they are fused together and we are going to have f1 generation so this cross breed is going to be heterozygous having two different alleles homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive these are two types which can be observed in homozygous organisms while complete dominance incomplete dominance and co-dominance are different types which can be observed in heterozygotes the example of homozygous is round seeds having capital r capital r and wrinkle seeds having small r small r in p1 generation while the example of heterozygotes is round seeds having capital r and small r in f1 generation so that was all about difference between homozygous and heterozygous if you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video